we're not attacking the person anymore, we're attacking the problem. So this is one of your key ground rules. enough roadmap here that they could step in and do exactly what you guys were planning on doing. So we're really comfortable in the statement phase, talking about how happy everything is. We're pretty good at the opening phase, helping to draw the right information out. Okay, that fascinates a lot of mediator types. Turn to your note-taking form. It's page 28. Sounds to me like he's really representing an interest. What he's or maybe make sure that she's using her time more efficiently. So as he's talking, I'm writing down notes about what he's saying. Take a, a seat and let me just make some introductory remarks. This is Justin. Um, I'm here to, to help you guys in this process, this mediation. If you were to move a little bit on this price, what would that look like? This is the chance to build up your mediator bank account because later you're going to need to be withdrawing from it. Mediation is like Vegas. Whatever happens in mediation stays in mediation. I'll go stand here. <laughs> the other guy walked by and I was like, this is a bad idea. <laughs> mediation is a way of uh, helping people come to an agreement that can serve as the basis for uh, resolving the dispute. OK. That's interesting. Let's do it. OK. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have a date! <laughs> so that mirror neuron stuff that we talked about in the beginning, you helped to set the stage for people to feel comfortable having a conversation. And they wouldn't want these desires to be revealed to the other side, but I will be a good mediator, I will be effective if I can have these desires met as well, right? Okay. And so this will be the conclusion of your mediator statement. All right, so that's one of your main strengths, is partnering with your clients and having them feel like they really have an ally in the middle of their conflict. You're on the